The cable man took the key to my apartment. I have two keys. I handed the spare off to him BC there was another area of the building he needed to access to check wiring, and it requires a key. He ends up losing it. I saw him check his pockets multiple times, and couldn't find the key. Turns out he was pretending. He sent me a text a few days later saying the key was in his shirt pocket the whole time, he just found it, and he can come return it to me. The same shirt pocket I saw him pat and reach into multiple times. Luckily, an amazing team of maintenance guys work on property every day. They tuned into what happened and before the cable guy was off the property they were already changing my lock. I didn't even bring it to their attention they just showed up like a mob and changed out my lock. I'm very thankful for them. These are actually the not all men we need more of. Cable guy told me, in person, that he would have to come back for the installation. I decided not to get cable. I'd love to hear from just one man that this is a fear of theirs, they've experienced it before, and that their main concern was rape. I'd report it to the cable company and let them know one of their guys kept your key which resulted in you having to change your locks. I used to be a cable guy, our policy was not to contact anyone after doing a work order. And taking someone's apartment key was also against policy even if to use it briefly. There's no reason he should have taken yours in the first place. It's rare in apartments that there's access issues for cable guys, and in the times that there were, typically student apartments, we would contact maintenance to open it for us. You did all of the right things here, fuck this shady dude. Those maintenance guys. We need more people like them. And more people like you, OP. You sound like you don't take shit from anyone. Stay strong, stay safe, never lose that. I may be a pessimist, but if he pretended not to find it only to still give it back later. I fear he would have taken that extra time to have a copy made, and I hope so much that I am wrong. I am so glad you had the other guys backing you up we need men to hold other men accountable. I opened this post thinking I was going to say, change the locks and do it now. This turned out to be a much better story than I thought it was going to be. I just love maintenance guys like yours. There aren't enough of them. When I lived in an apartment I occasionally had to give someone a spare key. It's a good idea to have the key attached to an unwieldy keychain of some kind like they often do with gas station bathrooms, so that losing it by mistake isn't really possible. This sub is like a horror novel. Except it's not fucking fiction. Ah yes the old oops I lost your key but then mysteriously found it two days later after I made a copy routine. I hope you called his employer and let them know. I was a cable guy for years. I would never take a customer's key, man or woman, under any circumstance. Someone can unlock things themselves, but I wouldn't want to have even the possibility of losing it nor would I want to be accused of any impropriety. I'm glad your maintenance people swapped your lock with no questions asked. Dude likely copied your key. I don't blame anyone for being distrustful of cable techs. Some dudes I worked with were shady as hell. Please report him to the cable company. This is how a lot of serial killer stories have started save another woman from it. I've had a stalker before so I'm way more fearful about anyone I don't know being in or around my place. Even when I order delivery I use the address for the shell station across the street and meet them around there. He didn't even need to take it. You can now copy keys from a fucking picture. This is a huge fear of mine. I made the mistake once of telling one that my BF wasn't home and he takes care of all that. He kept trying to come in after that. I shut him down and locked the door in his face. I stopped answering the door when I'm home alone now. My new policy is legitimately can you have a female worker come? I will pay extra or wait longer for one. I hate to peddle in fear, but even the tips here about large keychains aren't enough a quick snapshot with a phone camera, is enough to copy almost any house key via phone app, online form, locksmith shop, hardware store key grinder, 3D printer, etc. I've done it myself multiple times above board. 
as frustrating as it can be for everyone involved, loaning physical keys just can't be an option anymore. I'd love to hear from just one man that this is a fear of theirs, they've experienced it before, and that their main concern was rape. I have absolutely never had this fear, but I'm sure that's what you expected. I'm very sorry you have to live with this incredibly unfair fear. I'm kinda curious about that maintenance crew though sounds like they knew that guy was sketchy and were keeping an eye on him. That's pretty concerning and I would encourage you to report it to the cable company as others have mentioned. I'd love to hear from just one man that this is a fear of theirs, they've experienced it before, and that their main concern was rape. Never has been a fear for me as a man. But it is a worry that my mother has conveyed to me, especially when she has been abroad and alone. There are rape and murder stories with handymen doing such a thing. You should make sure you report him to the cable company and get your locks changed ASAP. Never leave out such a thing in the open whenever handymen are over. When I was a child a handyman stole from all of my siblings and I pippy banks and made off with a few thousand. He probably used it as an excuse to see you again. Or something much worse. I'm so glad to hear that the maintenance staff were the men we don't often hear about. You are lucky. This is why smart locks are awesome. You can generate unique codes for different people, revoke the codes. Set codes that only work at certain times, etc. You need to call the cable company and let them know what happened. They are liable. You okay Brocolii, please report the cable guy, he lied to you about losing the key, then said he'd return it to you when you insisted he had it. This is a very real fear of women, something most men don't have to worry about. Great job maintenance guys this is how men should behave. The cable company should pay for your maintenance guy's time and the new lock. Unfortunately, I could tell at least 100 stories like this. I was scared all the time and I'm almost six tall I took self-defense classes and I worked out I thought I could handle myself until I was assaulted, I actually froze not once but three separate times. When I turned 40 I hurt my back and started gaining weight. Magically, the unwanted attention disappeared. I have stayed fat because it's the safest I have ever felt. I'm 64 now and totally invisible to men. I wish I could have felt this way when I was younger. Shit like this is exactly why I don't feel comfortable having maintenance men come to my place while I'm alone. Hate to say it, but you can actually copy a key with just a high-resolution photo meaning just about any semi-modern phone camera. If you Google it you can see articles going back well over 10 years about it. So even somebody returning a key doesn't mean they can't get a copy made pretty easily. Sorry for those of you who have to think this way but a surprising amount of people are unaware of this. Yeah. As a homeowner I'd be super pissed. As a man, you're right I would not at all have those other worries. That is a downright deplorable situation. I'm so thankful you have reliable people at the complex you live in. They might be individuals to lean on in the future with unknown business calls like that. I hope you gave all the maintenance guys that changed your locks cookies and a huge tip. Those are the men we need. Do you have cameras to see if anyone comes and tries to open your door? Next time make someone like him go to the office to gain access. It is good you were so aware and that you have such an amazing staff where you live. I'd love to hear from just one man that this is a fear of theirs, they've experienced it before, and that their main concern was rape. Guy here, rape was never a concern to me personally. I worried about friends and family, but it never crosses my mind that it could happen to me. I would be surprised if it crossed any guy's mind in a western country, without context. AKA it being explicitly mentioned around you. Stay safe please. Have you reported this to the cable company? This may be his first attempt if we are lucky, I can guarantee this will not be his last attempt. Get his ass into the legal system to any degree you can. Please notify the company in your building if you can. It took him a few days could mean he made a copy of it. Even if the copy doesn't work then that might make him worse if he thinks his plan has been thwarted.